up guys so today i'm playing ai war it used to be a game that i played quite a bit i actually really enjoy it so i'm gonna just kind of go through how i do it doesn't necessarily mean that's how you have to do it right um so we're just starting off which is how I'm gonna take this. Um, I always, I would say go to custom start and leave the map at realistic. I don't know how loud that noise is. All right, leave it at realistic and then uh, AD is fine, all this is fine. But what I would do is find, you can pick where you want your base uh, to be when you start out. So I would go over and push regenerate map. Uh, actually push randomize, okay. And you wanna find something like this, starting off especially, because this is a defensible location. And the backstory, if I remember right on AI War, is I, I think the humans created the AIs and then they took over and uh, started chasing them throughout the galaxy. And they just kept falling back, falling back until this is the last, the last of them, okay? And that's where you enter in. And so to me, it makes sense uh, in real life, this was how you jumped from system to system that you would want a defensible location. If we were to put like our base right here, you have one, two, three, at least three jump points to get there. You'd have to defend every single one of those jump points. Whereas if I'm right here, they, there's only one entrance, at least unless you piss the AI, AI off too much, okay? There's only one entrance for most of the game. I, I believe there's like wormholes and stuff. It's been like a long time since I played. Um, but my point is I would pick a defensible location. And I'm really big into sci-fi books and stuff, okay? So I've... I've read a lot of them. I've actually wrote my own uh, just for fun. So I understand sci-fi world, okay? <laughs> and a lot of those stories they do, they fall back to like a, um, they're either hidden or a defensible location. And to me, this, this just makes sense for starting off and especially when you're new. It'll give you a jump start and safety because you can only take so many planets without pissing the AI off, AI off enough, uh, and it'll just come wipe you out. So uh, you got to enter a campaign name. So I'm just gonna put OIT. All right. There's some other options. Uh, factions. I want to make sure this is just. Just you and the AI. And I have it set to three right now, which is pretty easy. And you'll want to go through and set at least to three too. Okay, and then options. I just leave this stuff alone. And we'll start the game. Okay, so this is your command station. And the first thing I would do is push one. I'll push space bar. The pause progress, okay? So um, let me move me over a little bit. Okay. So now there's no risk of anything happening because everything's paused, okay? And 
we want to do is push tab. See how we ended up right here? Right where we, we wanted our base. There's one jump point into our base station, base station, our base system. We have to guard this at all costs. Um, so what I would do is normally, and this is just an overview, is there's three different kinds of stations. There is a command station, or excuse me, there is a economic station, a military station, and there's a logistical station. And the military station is the strongest, most powerful station you can build. It has the most defenses uh, available to it. The logistical is just a step down, but it creates more uh, metals and energy and stuff. And then there's the economic station, which has very little defenses. Um, personally, as I would get closer to my home system in this situation, I would put a logistical station here, an economic here, military here. Or you could possibly do an economic here and logistical and military. Um, I think I'm going to go, let's see how many people are, or how much. It shows the enemy's guard strength is six. This one's 14. This one's unexplored. So go we'll jump back into our command station by double clicking it. And we want to set up some um, defenses for this home station. And we want to make sure to do the planet, whatever. Uh, don't do these other ones that are, say, impregnable. In Regnable defenses. You'll, yours will say something different. That's actually, uh, let's see if I can find it. Yeah, right here. So if we click on that, let's rename this. And this is a, uh, well, you'll see. Let's re rename it Mobile Defense. Okay. And I can actually put a keybind number of two and close. Now if you hit two, it'll highlight it, see? So this is a combat factory. Um... This is the mobile defense battle station. So we actually don't want that key bound to this mobile uh, combat factory. We want the combat factory to be key bound to the classic fleet. So this is one of the first things I do. I click on this while holding C and then change this to one or whatever your fleet is. It should be one, your flagship, okay? Push close. Now when you click one, it takes a second for it to be switched to one once you unpause it. Now when you click one, it'll highlight all those. And if you push L, it loads them into the ship. All the all the stray ships, you know, all the what it's transporting. So they're loaded, ready to go. Pause it. Let's start building some defenses. And you'll notice these change to mobile defense. And this inordinate defenses, um, there must be another one, must be this one. Let's change it to mobile again. Let's say two. Okay, and we'll keep buying that one to three. And I'll get into what those do here shortly okay for now finally <laughs> let's build some pike turrets 
and place them around the entrance and then I kind of wave them put them in waves and then do how many I got left do a wave around the station somewhat and do at least one behind it okay and then just dump the rest right here okay and then we want a force field and what I do is I put the force field over the actual command station. Now we want a tachyon, uh, what would you call it, array. And I put this at the entrance and then I'll kind of spread them out. How many are there? Six. You kind of want them spread out and put one behind that okay tractors you want them right at the entrance it's just starting out you can have your own uh ideas okay let's see let's do some right here because they usually cross straight sometimes they don't but yeah we got all those set up and i usually just drop all the assault um, station keeping assault frigates. I just drop them by the station. You do control alt, hold them both at the same time. It'll do 10 at a time, I believe. Then same with the watchman. And I don't mind using everything available for the home, home station because we want to protect it. Now, this is pretty weak honestly um, but now we un unpause it give it a few minutes we don't want to do anything until all these are built you'll notice our metals up here are draining because we're building so much and we're using more and more energy so let's fast forward this don't go too fast ever don't forget about it because the AI can come in and just wipe you out really quick you make a mistake. And if your speed's turned up, you don't have a chance to uh, do anything about it. So we're getting there. And if you push tab, we can see the um, strength building, okay? Actually, if you hover over the actual system, it shows mobile strength 17 and our immobile strength 15. Another thing you can do is push number one while you're in the system. We're out of it. And this will come up on the side and see my selection strength is 10 and a half. And that's my uh, fleet strength. And that's going to become really important here shortly. Okay, so it looks like everything's pretty much built. Let's slow this down. We're out of metal. One and a half times, we are out of metal. Okay, that's fine though. Looks like we have a station strength of 22. So let's push one and that uh, highlights these, this flagship and this combat factory. And I usually take them together. Then you push L Make sure they're loaded. I want to come in here unloaded. And then what I do is I'm going to attack this system. What I do is I push uh, enable, enable attack move mode. And I also push group mode. Okay, before I do anything. And then you right click on the system you want them to go into. And then left click to go into that system. Okay, so they're here. I'm going to pause it. Now what you have to do is push U when you're ready to unload them. The thing about this game is you don't want a bunch of them getting away out of that system because they'll just become like enemies. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, make sure this is highlighted. I'm going to left click probably fairly close to the outward gate here and then push space bar. See how quick they're moving? Now I'm going to unload them.
And then it's just a battle. And you can see our strength is 11 and theirs is 7. Which actually is kind of scary. It's... Uh, but we're only on three, so difficulty of three should be okay. Now, what we don't want to do is raise this AI progress a lot. And the more gates and command stations you destroy, this is a warp gate, this is a command station, the higher that'll go, the more angry and uh, harder it'll be to destroy the enemy and the, the enemy will actually come after you and it gives them more options see uh, the counter attacks unlock at AIP of 70 right now we're at 10 reconquest waves unlock at 80 the wormhole borers unlock at 320 you don't want to get that high there's ways to not have that happen okay we don't want these guys getting away I don't know we might Okay, there we go. Don't freak out if they all get out the gate. But what will happen is this number here will rise. And that's the AI threat forces. So, um, it's like you piss them off and they go off and wait for the opportune time to strike. So you want to keep that as low as possible. Okay, now we want to head these guys off. If we can. And I really shouldn't be moving my stations and stuff, but... Okay, we need to get these destroyed down here. They've changed this game since I played it last, so... Alright. So now, I'm going to go over here and destroy this. I'm going to do the warp gate first and then the command station. You'll see the AIP rise. Okay, now pause it. And see, it gives some uh, threats. Some of them are pretty funny. So now we can choose an economic command, a logistical command, or a military command. And I think I'm going to go... Let, let's look. How heavily fortified is this? This is a 14. 10 and a... You know what? I'm going to go with logistical just because I'm worried that... Something could happen during that battle. So I'm going to put the logistical command station just behind my home base's wormhole. And then I'm going to push spacebar. And you'll see that they will start building that. As soon as it's built, I'm going to pause it again. Actually, you know what? I'm going to wait a minute. I want them to get that uh, other flagship up and going. This is like a derelict. And they can fix it up and use it. So. These are the metal harvesters. This is left behind from the AIs. An advanced research station. And we can hack it. But again, that raises the AI's progress. We want to be careful with that. Another good tool to have is this PDF up here. You can click on it and it'll tell you, you know, whatever you want to know about certain things. Okay. So now let's click on this new ship. Let's change it to number one and be part of our overall fleet. Unpause, let it switch. Okay, pause. Now when I click on one, see where, where strength is 13.3. So that's good. Um, now we want to start building out our defenses. 
And because we have a logistical command station, we can do a little bit more. Um, of course, we want a force field and we want it to protect uh, both the planet jump station for our home world and our base. So I just start setting them in there and I only use them there. That's where I use my force fields. Um, it's a cool name. So focus gravity generator slows down hostile ships in an area around itself. Yeah, that's new since I've played last. Let's kind of layer these in here. And there is only one entrance. Yeah. Right here. So a couple tachyon detectors. And what happens is they can sneak into your system. So you want everything uh, lit up and then tractors. We want some tractors. This holds them when they come in and we want them to be held while they're being slapped. Mines, let's just place it all over. Okay, that'll work. Um, salt. We'll put all these. Some of this would be overkill probably, but I'm not taking any chances. Bike turrets. I'm literally just going to wrap it around. And probably... Okay. I feel like they kind of got rid of some of the stuff, but I actually can upgrade. Uh, let's click on space bar and let them start building. And then push C and click on your command station. Okay. And I'm going to up the command station level. So this will help dramatically increase our defense. Um, abilities so you'll notice if I push tab and I hover over this this will grow probably higher than our home world because we have it upgraded so much it upgrades all like the uh, pike turrets and everything I think it even upgrades the mines yeah pike turret 3 okay So let's pause it again. We are at 35 uh, immobile strength and 13 mobile. So we need to get our um, mobile fleet strength up so we can attack the next system. Because I think it's, what is it, 14? And we are 13. So we want. A little bit more in our favor. So let's see what we can do here. We have this thing called science up here. And you gain science when you take over a system. Um, so we gained what we could out of this system already. And I believe you get hack points too, if I remember right. Which is this right here. Um, of course, you get metals and I think energy. So, beneficial to take over systems, but if you take over too many, the AI will come, they'll slap you down. We gotta be careful with that. So, what are we gonna do? Um, we need to upgrade our fleet. Let's use this. Um, if you hold or if you hold C and click on it you can see what you can do here um, all right so what I'm gonna do is go to hack and I want to steal an AI ship line but before we do this we want to click on one and then right click here and then click on uh, pursuit mode. 
That way, uh, they'll pursue any enemies in this system. We don't want them running amok in here. So hold on a second here. Okay, so what happens is when I click on steel AI ship line, um, we pick one of these and it's going to throw out enemy ships while you're hacking it. So let's look and see. Um, There's all different ones you can pick. It's totally up to you. You push control and alt, it gives you more, um, more information. So its strength is 5.79 and six units. 1.26 I think I'm gonna do the frigates and I'm gonna hack it and you'll see they'll start coming out here the biggest thing is we want to make sure they don't get through this gate into our home world okay so now we have it so now one of these will start producing a uh, ship. You'll notice our, our strength went up to 19 automatically. Okay, it looks like we have um, some attackers. That's okay. Let's look at our system strength. So we're at 19 and 35. I actually think we can hack it one more time. Uh -oh. Let's do it. These are kind of cool. If I was smart, I might have put a different cannon over here or something ahead of time. So, um, this last one is six. Okay. It'll raise our fleet strength by six. It's a pretty big deal, but I honestly don't think I'm going to do it right now. I'm going to come over here and I'm going to hack this turret schematic server and steal a turret line. As soon as this battle's over. Okay. And let's just do the biggest, uh, the, the strongest one. Yes, we're hacking it. And we just want to guard this. So as you can see, our our fleet strength's 20 now. We're pretty good. Okay, so now you can actually go over here to the direct build menu, and we can build those blaster turrets. And I'm gonna build them around the entrance into this. Um, system. And then we'll put a, I'm gonna put one right here and put a couple around the station. Okay. For now, we're going to select one. We're going to push L. We're all loaded up. And we are going to turn down the speed. Let these guys... Okay, we're ready to go. Let's look at the next system. They're at a strength of 18 now. Yeah, I don't know if that's a good idea. Let's uh, steal the last line on this. 
don't usually have to do that, but well, no, actually, let's upgrade. Let's go to tech unlocks, and you can you spend your science points on things. What we want to do is find the one that um, will help us the most. So let's go weapon core. What is that? Okay, so that I think the green one is the fleet, if I remember right. The blue is the uh, system defenses. So like this one here, well, yeah. Okay, we're going to upgrade this and see what it does. Yeah, I was backwards. Okay, so we want to find the blue one. So let's do this one seven, hole seven. Yes, upgrade. Now you'll see our ship strength going up. Our selected ship strength. We have number one selected, that's our fleet. So let's uh find the best bang for our buck here. Looks like this one will do five and seventy nine. Let's do that. That should put us what thirty four and cranking up our numbers for our stations, too. All right, so we have a selected, we'll push L and now we can attack. We have a fleet strength 32 and they have a enemy guard strength of 20. So we'll right click there, go in here and we should come in right here. Pause it. I'm just gonna push on load right here cause it looks like they're uh, looking for a fight. This is going to be a pretty good fight. I'm going to fast forward at once, and I'm actually going to put this on attack. I forgot to do that in a group. Okay, 31, 16, so we're doing good. So I'm going to show you a little bit of different strategy right now. I'm going to pause it. I'm going to kill this warp gate. I'm going to kill their command station right now. I'm going to pause it. Now I'm going to go over here after he gets done threatening me. And I am going to build a military base here. And I want this to be by the gate towards our home world. I'm going to push space. Okay, so they're building our station during this battle. You have to destroy the enemy's station before you can build your own, which pisses them off. The building your own doesn't, but the killing their station does. Um, 
so we'll just let him wrap up here. I'm going to put him on defense and they'll just start chasing things around if anything's bad in the system. Looks like we're going to get a combat factory and another ship. That's great. And a whole lot of metal producers here. This might be a good one to turn into a uh, logistical or economic. Probably logistical because of where it's at. Once I turn this one into a... Once I turn this one into a uh, military. Okay. So we have our military command station. Let's pause. Um, and they're waking that thing up. Which will add the combat factory into our roster number one for, uh, for our fleet. So we're good there. Let's build ambush turret. And this one I'm just gonna be really heavy because it's such a short distance to the outlet. I'm just gonna stack these in here like crazy, okay. Beam turrets. Let's move uh, our guys over here out of the way. See the distance, it's not very far, so. Let's uh, get some beam turrets and let's just plaster them. Same with this. I'm just building a wave. And let's put a couple back here in case someone gets around. Um, we don't want anything bad to happen. Okay. See how many more you get with a military station. Okay, we're actually out of energy. So what we can do is put in one matter converter. I don't want to do it in this system. Let's do it in the home system. We don't want them taking it out for some reason. Okay. They're very expensive on metal though. So you don't want very many of those things if you can help it. Um, other ways around it too. Okay, force field. I'm going to put force fields all around these. And now I want to upgrade this station quite a bit. And I'm probably going to go to level three. I know that's a lot, but this is going to be our main defensive uh, zone. See, these are all really high now. If I push tab and I go over here, we're at 225 immobile strength on this planet system. Which is pretty good. We're so early in the game. So click on this. And we'll change it to number one. Close. Should change to number one. There we go. Okay, and we're up to 33.7 and you can actually upgrade these and it will affect the, the strength of your fleet. So I'm just going to do that on that one and let's do this one too. Just upgrade it twice. Now the these uh, flagships, you can't do that too. It will upgrade the flagship, but not the individual ships. It's not going to make your fleet that much stronger or anything. So I don't do that till later. Um, now, I need to put some tachyon. Detectors. Nope, I used them all. And the tractors. And we'll put a couple around here. If they get that far, I think it's too late anyway, but we want a bunch right here at the entrance. 
So what, they'll come in and it'll hold them there. Or should hold them there. I'm only going to put five. I'll put two. Expecting I'll put to go dark any now. five of those. Okay, we're about out of energy again. Hey, I'm really debating on turning this into an economic station. How many metal producers? Three, four. Let's do that. Let's change it to a economic command station. Okay, so that got rid of all of our defenses. There are a lot of them. Um, really cut it back. So now what we want to do is go in here and we'll want to upgrade this. Once we have enough science, which we don't right now. Looks like we may not. We take our next system over. So we'll just have to remember this. This planet isn't super heavily guarded. This system, this system here means everything. And that's kind of scary. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to remove this. Uh, I'm going to move number two. Battle station to Rossum. When it comes in here, I'm going to build even more. If they come into this system, they better be packing. As you can see, he's jumping in. Okay. So. Once he gets in system here. You'll see that, see how there's more options now. Now I can build turrets and all kinds of things. And I'm just going to start layering some systems in here. Okay. Now you don't want to build within the force field because it lowers the efficiency of the turrets and stuff. Okay, I think that's good. Now what I'm gonna do is, if I remember right, you can still use what's available in there in the next system. I'm gonna do that in this lightly guarded system. He's already sending a wave against Russell. So let's move it right here and let's start building Defenses in the system with this. Okay. And let's put all the tractors we can around the entrance. Okay. So... Let's jump over to Rossum. Let's click one and see how this goes red. I think that means they're coming through that gate, which is the only gate we have. You want these guys unloaded in the system for uh, defensive purposes. If they're loaded, they won't unload. Or at least they never used to. Okay, I don't want to build anything for a little while. I want to push tab, see where options are. So we have a immobile strength of 317 now on our military command station. Our economic, we have 119 because of that mobile um, battle station, which allows us to build in this system. So I think we're pretty well set up. So as we carry out attacks, they'll come in and they'll want to uh, attack your main systems. Okay, your main, they'll want to attack Scorpion. But they have to go through Rossum first until the wormhole bores are unlocked at 320. So we don't want to do that. Um, 
that changes everything. So right now we're set up, we can do raids. Um, we could even take this next planet. I don't think I will right now. It's pretty strong, but we can do raids back in here and you know, hack some things or destroy this uh, data center here. And it'll reduce the AIP by 20. Um, or we can go capture a planet somewhere else, the system. Um, lots of options now. And as you take over systems, it'll go so far ahead of you and spy, spy out the next systems. So we don't know what's out here yet. Um, big question mark. But this should get you started on this game. And I really enjoy this game, actually. It's, it's a lot of fun. Uh, and you can make it so freaking hard. You can't even, you know, you won't live very long at all. Unless you're extremely good. Uh, I don't know if anybody's ever beat the hardest level or not. Uh, it's one of those games that that is almost impossible to win. If you have the difficulty turned up at all. Um, and they're pretty crafty. <laughs> so anyway, I hope this uh, was a fun start to this game. AI War 2. And I'm going to put out another episode at some point And I'll start raiding uh, different strongholds. And... You know, destroying things like this or hacking. And uh, see how far we get with it. So, thanks guys. If you're not subscribed, subscribe. And thank you for getting this far in the video. See ya.